Oh, I also just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that sub subscribed to the channel. Every subscription that we get is a step closer to our goal. It's a huge step forward. Good afternoon and welcome back. I am actually very excited. Um, why are you excited? Because we're going to work with our like, brand new things and like... Uh... Okay. No, I'm excited because our sowing season and growing season is approaching. We are getting... We are in our coldest month of the year. Well, of the seasons, we are currently in our coldest month. So as soon as this passes, it means we can start planting and sowing. And in the meantime, it's just our planning and keeping everything alive that we want to keep alive. But I'm quite excited that it is approaching. Another six or eight weeks and we can, we can start planting. Okay, yeah, like I said this morning, well, it's now our coldest month of the year. And this morning I went to our, this morning I went to that one garden bed over there that I just sowed a couple of seeds in before we actually moved in here just to have something, but I didn't expect it to really grow or anything. So this morning, I went off to the garden where there was a couple of things, it's basically onions and carrots that I planted just before winter. And as we moved into this new property, it's okay. Anyway, but I didn't expect much to grow. But yeah, a couple of carrots and onions did come up. And this morning I went there and picked a an onion, uh, sorry, a, a, a carrot out of the, I picked a carrot out of the garden and ate it and it was actually frozen. So yeah, quite interesting. Now, on that note, the reason why I mentioned that is that my, that we actually, the reason why I uh, mentioned that is that we, we bought two new trees, a tangerine, not a tangerine, we bought a nectarine and an apple tree for our little mini forest or orchard. And we wanted to plant them, but I thought we should just wait uh, because I don't, because we are going to basically plant them. The roots will still be shallow. It won't be established yet. And I don't want to risk to lose these fruit trees to frost so I decided to keep them indoors but the problem with that is you know that they are in these little bags from the nursery and it makes watering difficult you know when we water it will spill onto our carpets in the house and also there's not a lot of nutrition in in the soil as well although don't worry too much about that because they actually need to go dormant um, and i see the trees actually just drop their leaves now in the past couple of days and that might be due to a lack of watering so yeah what i actually want to do is just to pot them up for the time being in a bit of in a bigger pot and a bit of composting pot potting medium and you know so you can have some nutrition and also so that we can actually water them now what i'm going to use is these two old coolers i did put holes in and i actually had flowers in there. yeah there was some flowers and also in others there were zucchinis growing in it at the old property yeah, so I basically just want to pot them up in this and then we can actually water them a little and still have them 
indoors and not worry about the freezing. So that's what we are going to do today. What I am going to use is compost, our own compost. And then I've got this palm peat brick and this will you know, just basically help the soil to retain a bit more moisture without us having to water it continuously. Basically, it's about just retain moisture for the plants. And how we use this, I saw the directions here, is to take this brick, put it in a 10 litre container, and then pour three litres of warm water over it. And we actually have to put the bomb. Yeah. Like this is dark, that is so, uh, there's much for that one, but we're ready there. This is a little bit for me because I just keep on making that brick. Really so okay, so I've got another cooler here. I think this is a 20 liter cooler. And it doesn't have holes in. So I'm just putting that brick in there. Adding the warm water. Oh, it's splashed on me. Oh, it's your right. Yes, but, but like, it isn't like a hot when it is out of the container. Yeah. It's just, just like a little shock on me. Okay. So I'm going to give you the idea that you can sit and bring your other brick with my So it's the three liters of water. Then you can add some nutrients or fertilizer to it and it says here for the ideal potting mix add one part compost and one part clean river sand i don't have river sand here but i'll add some compost so i just want to show you how this brick is swelling and actually dissolving in the water so I'll just keep splashing this around look at that no there it's still dry oh, so I think I'll just leave that and let it soak a little longer so I just want to show you the palm peat absorbed all the water and basically broke down it is still a bit warm you can see the steam coming off it is nice and moist and what i'm going to do now is just to add some compost to it Just gonna add a little bit of compost, just compost at the bottom as well. And I'm not going to do much effort with detangling the root system at this moment. We are going to have a look at that when we go and plant this in ground, but this is just so it overwinters. Okay, this is Crimson Blaze Nectary. I'm a bit short on the mixture, but I'm just going to finish top this up with some compost. This is also my last bag of compost.
and I'm putting it here so it can drain. So this morning as well, I just watered these two trees that is already in the in the little orchard, and I added some uh, root shavings and sawdust here as a mulch, just to protect the root system from the cold as well, and so it can retain more moisture. You can see this little tree is still every now and then putting out some new leaves and then the frost comes and it drops the leaves again and then it starts uh, blossoming again so as you can see oops, there's a little blossom there again starting to blossom again so yeah it's still very warm for this time of year but it is our coldest month but yeah the weather is a little bit weird just this little this little apricot tree as well we also mulch it with some wood shavings and sawdust and this one dropped all of its leaves finally but yeah in another couple of weeks when the weather starts warming up properly, then we'll see how it adapted to its new home in the ground. Um, as we planted these two little trees in the orchard just at the beginning of autumn, before the winter, so I'm sure that they settled in well over the winter. Yeah, so thank you again for spending time with us today. Oh, I also just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel. Every subscription that we get is a step closer to our goal. It's a huge step forward and we appreciate you guys so much and we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts to help us grow this channel. In the first four weeks we got I think 10 or 11 new subscribers and after that we also gained another three yeah, so this is now our second part stretch second month of the three months of 12 week challenge and we just want to see this channel continue growing and we really appre appreciate each and every one of you that subscribed and shared videos that we enjoyed. So thank you very much. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and help us reach our goals. Share with your friends and your family. And yeah, we appreciate everything that you do for us to support us as well. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we love you. We appreciate you. God bless you. Goodbye. I'm <laughs> <laughs>